in a little while. I welcome you one more time to Motivation Mountain. <laughs> Here we are, we, are, we are stirred by the power of the Holy Spirit to stay up there and refuse to go down. No more going down. Thank you for joining. Father, we give you praise for this opportunity, shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we appreciate you for another opportunity to share on this platform. Jesus, this is your program. Please come and run it. Holy Spirit, drive it by your power. Inspiration that everything that we need to present and lift up Jesus even now for souls to be drawn unto him. Thank you, O God, as we share. Bring our friends, our viewers to come in their multitudes, in their numbers, all to the glory of your name as we stay motivated to your praise. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. My name is Evangelist Truth Chilwe, your host on this platform, Motivation Mountain. Here, we encourage you, child of God, to stay up there. Refuse for anybody to talk down on you. Refuse for anybody to put you down. Refuse for anybody to put you under undue pressure. Jesus, the owner of this work, he said, my yoke is easy, my burden is light. Don't let them carry load that is not your own to put upon you that will, the, way the load will wear you down and cave you in and almost try to delete you. He paid the price for your liberty, total liberty. Never go down. The title of one of my songs, if I tell my album, never go down. That's where we are. And before I uh, jump into the scripture we're going to read before proceeding, I want to encourage you to stay to the end because towards the end, I'm going to do what I call prophetic release. I have a word of release into your life, into your destiny, into your family as a privileged servant of God. I have it in my hands and in my heart. So when it gets to that time, watch the end, don't jump, just go with us. So when you get there, the release will be, the prophetic release will be done and you, your life will be turned around all to the glory of God. You are blessed. Let's go. Mm. In a little while, we have a Bible verse to read. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3. Something will happen to you in a little while. Before you know it, boom, it has happened. You know, Joseph went to bed, a prisoner, and he woke up a prime minister. That is what I like. I like when, when the hand of God manifests to change the narrative and break the record and do something unusual and incredible. And it will go loud. The way we say it in Nigeria, it go loud. Where we go loud. It will be so loud. And people will glorify God because of you. So let's read from Habakkuk 2 3. I'm reading from Amplified Vision of the Bible. I love it so much. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. And it hastens to the end that bracket fulfillment, it will not deceive or disappoint. Though it tarry, wait earnestly for it because it will surely come. It will not be behind hand on its appointed day. The vision will come well. The vision will come well. Though the vision tarry is an appointed time, that thing you are trusting God for in a little while, and believing God in a little while, your own time, your own set time of lifting has come. Somebody said, a man of God said, that the most dangerous man on earth or woman on earth is the person whose time has come. Your time has come. Did you hear me? I said, your time has come. The most dangerous person in this world is the person whose time has come. Beloved, your time has come. Can we type it into the comment section? My time has come. My time has come. Type it in. My time has come. The vision shall speak. The vision shall speak. Are you typing this? The speak vision shall speak. My testimony is the next. Go ahead, keep typing. My testimony is next. Jubilee is my portion. Celebration is my portion. I am lifted, so shall it be, to God be the glory. And he said, and it hastens to the end, that is fulfillment time. The vision is running after you. That's why I said in a little while, something will happen. The vision is running after you. The Bible is telling us here, telling us here in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3, Amplified Version of the Bible, that it hastens to the end, in bracket fulfillment. It will not deceive or disappoint. Uh -huh. The vision will not lie. It will not deceive. It will not disappoint. Though it tarry, though it delays, wait earnestly for it because it will surely come. That vision, that expectation will come. Remember, the Bible says that the expectation of the righteous 
shall be granted. It will not be cut short. So we are talking about some people here watching now, those who are born again already. This will find fulfillment in their lives very fast. So we are going to give you time to come join us. Be a, a member of the family, God's family so that your expectations will not be cut short and your vision will speak. He said, "For it, uh, uh, okay, because it will surely come. It will not be behind hand. That's the new English. That will not be at the back. It will be in front. On its appointed day, on it, uh, its appointed day, the vision will speak. It will not tarry. Though it, it seems as if it's delaying. Hold on. It will not tarry. In a little while, your story will change. In a little while, God will do something that will shock the world. In a little while, your miracle will manifest. In a, in a little while, you shall experience divine intervention, divine elevation, divine manifestation. I like this one, divine acceleration. I like it when a miracle happens that without you putting in any effort, boah, God drops something into your life. Somebody calls you, send your account number. Goes ah, $10,000, that is it. I'm not saying it must happen, but something like that has happened a couple of times, even to me, not $10,000. <laughs> Why not did they do? I would appreciate it, but I like the one that came, you know. So that is, I'm telling you, it, it, God can shock the world by turning things around for you. In a little while, your body will be healed as you hold on to Jesus. In a little while, you'll be a married woman. You'll be a married man. In a little while, you'll carry your own baby. Are you typing amen? Are you? Oh, so ayabaka, ayabana ne gudeli abada. I feel power over this house. Sakubi, sakulele muta, tabudi ne mataya. I speak by the word of the Lord. In a little while, you are getting married. In a little while, you're carrying your baby. In a little while, you're taking your car key. In a little while, you're taking your house key. In a little while, you grab your visa, you travel abroad. In a little while, your finances will increase. In a little while, you'll be promoted. In a little while, you shall gain admission into university. In a little while, God will shift things around for you. You'll be, an, a, glo you'll be a global icon. In a little while, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. That's why I said you have to give everything to this God that has the final say. Because he has the final say in your life. Jehovah has the final say in your life. It's not man, it's God. So, who are thou great mountain before this child of God? In a little while, God will change the story of this young one. So, you mountain, I command you, get out in the name of Jesus. Get out in the name of Jesus. Get out, you mountain, before this one. In the name of Jesus, whatever kind of mountain, sickness, financial burden, marital fail, marriage failure, job, lack of job, lack of joy, or whatever it is, they are hauling against you from the regions of the dark, dark, dark world, or the mammoth core, or cultic powers, and all that. Whatever they are hauling against you, are intercept and destroy by fire. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Remember, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added unto you. That is step one. You have to give room to Jesus and allow him to take over your life. When you do that, other things will be added. Many of us are running after other things. That's not wise. That's not smart. That's not intelligent enough. I don't want to use the D-U-M something. No, no, I don't want to use that word. But So you are a smart person. Do the first thing. Forget about what I've told you. Forget about what you feel. Forget about what you fear. Jesus loves you. He wants to give you a new life. It's time to commit your life to him and be serious about it. Some of us are playing religion. We are not really honoring Jesus. We are going to church. Some are not going to church. They are going to some other places. They say they are seeking for God, but they are not intentional about it. And they still live anyhow. You can't tell me you are connected to God and you are living anyhow like every other person. No, judge ye. The Bible, the Bible even says judge ye. So if you want to give your life to Jesus, before I go into the prophetic declaration, please pray with me. I beg you, I beg you, surrender to Jesus. He means well for you on a daily basis. Say, Lord Jesus, please forgive me all my sins. I accept you now as my personal Lord and Savior. Help me, Jesus, to serve you to the end. Satan, I reject you. You demons, I reject you and all your works and all your ways. I am for Jesus, for life. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I pray for you, Father. Thank you for this, your peculiar child. Lord, may you reign in this life as Lord and Savior forever. 
release into this life the promises you made to those who have given their lives to you. Salvation done, healing, deliverance, breakthrough, miracle, signs, wonders, open doors, open heavens, increase, fin high finances, plus grace unto righteousness. Receive, child of God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Congratulations for it is done. Grace unto righteousness is very important. Do you know why? The Bible records that righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Congratulations one more time. I declare over your life now, open doors. This is the time I told you to wait for. Prophetic declaration time. Open doors. Open heavens. Keep typing Amen. Increase. Miracles. Signs. Wonders. Joy. New job. Promotion. New car. New house. International door. Opening for you. Marriage. Children. Breakthroughs. Open heavens. Receive plus grace unto righteousness. It is well with you. Every power that is working against you, I intercept now and scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. I speak into your life. You have the grace and capacity to serve God in spirit and in truth and in holiness. So function in this capacity now to the glory of God. Remain blessed. Remain lifted. May God uphold you for life. It is well with you. Get back to me. Drop comments in the comment section and get in touch. And God alone will be glorified. I want to hear your testimony. You are testifying next. Can you type into the comment section again? I am testifying next. Or I am next in line for a testimony. You can also type in, my testimony is ready. Congratulations and to God be the glory. You are covered with the blood of Jesus. Your family is covered with the blood of Jesus. Your business, your career, your finances, your spirituality, your job, everything about you is covered with the blood of Jesus. Your properties are covered with the blood of Jesus. So myself as well, all to the glory of God. It is done and settled. To God be all the glory. Please share this live stream. This is what you should share. Share it copiously. Share it very well. And drop comments. See you next time on Motivation Mountain, where we encourage us to stay up all the time. You are blessed and highly favored. To God be all the glory. See you soon. By God's grace. Salute.